let's find an Uber. Hello. Hey, how are you? Matt, yeah? Yeah, that's me. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go to... The bar? Because I was doing like some stupid shopping, so now it's time to go to the bar. I started an awesome designers, uh, designer boat a company before, and uh, being frank with you, I haven't sold any, none. Like, I haven't sold any boat. Like, really sad story, but it was a cool idea, nobody wanted to do that. So what's the, what's the secret? Where is the trick? So I want to make money immediately. What do I do? Um, bring the value. And how do I bring value? This is something that is already proven to work, and the reason it's proven to work is because it brings value to people. Why does it bring value to people? Well because they want to pay for it. So obviously it brings certain values to them if they want to exchange money for this thing. And how about awesome and creative ideas? Like I want to do creative ideas. How about this? Well, you could do that, but the chance that it's going to work out is statistically based on mathematical probability way lower. So it's, it's like throwing dices. One, oh, one of hundred is going to work. Like let's say you have two dices, one chance, like you have to have double six to uh, make it work. And um, when it comes to improving a uh, proven business model, the system is very, very simple. You just take something that's already out there. Like for example, I don't know if you can see through this glass because it's a little bit dark, uh, it's a little dark. But let's see, there is a, um, there is, there is a builder. So it means that there's lots of businesses in, in, in the construction industry. Uh, let's think how we can help them. Like what's the value we can bring to them. Let's see what companies are within business of uh, builders. We're having a driver here, right? So what's the, what, what works within this industry? Like how can we improve this uh, industry? Let's, let's just think, think of things that are uh, actually working already. So how to find something that uh, works already? So um, just 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 copy paste anything out there if you don't have money. So if you don't have money, it's 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 a ter terrible approach to start awesome startup idea. I know that last time at uh, the conference in Munich, I was like disputing with people like, hey, uh, they were all from like startup uh, industry, and they were like, yeah, let's improve uh, our lives by awesome ideas that's true but you can't do that before uh, you actually have certain finance to back this up so um, with finance to back this up you are we are we going the, yeah, the wrong direction I'm not allowed to turn there. oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's all right i just gonna continue making the video then people start with uh, at the beginning is like like website design for example, it's super easy, right? And the reason why it's so easy is, uh, to pick is because uh, there is obvious demand and obvious, uh, and it's easy how to implement this business model. But then there is more, like um, sell meat, or that's that's actually like selling meat uh, brought a lot of cash uh, for the guy from the movie uh, uh, Wolf of Wall Street. So, well. And the real story. I'm talking about uh, Belfort, that the real guy from uh, who they made a movie about, Jordan Belfort. So he started with trading meat, and then he started doing other things that are actually boring, and don't actually sound too exciting. But um, and he couldn't call himself for a long time. He couldn't call himself an creative entrepreneur. But he was making cold cash, right? That that, that would make sense. So so what you want to do is think. Do you want to have a profit or do you want to implement creative ideas? If you want to have both, you can't afford it if you don't have money because the chance it's going to work out is small, the probability is slow. So you want to focus on things if you want cold cash, you want to focus on things that already work, that are proven to work. If you want creative ideas, you do that after you've proven yourself with uh, basic ideas. So that's, that's the, the basic assumption what's, what I want to make today's uh, speech about. So let's try to prepare.